please put your hands together with a massive round of applause. Mr. Paul Ainsworth and the team for number six. I'm going to do two dishes for you today uh, that are currently on the menu right now at number six. Um, we've got first one, um, a really humble cut, the pig's head, which we brine for 24 hours. Then we um, slowly, slowly cook it in a CV bag, but in the rationale on steam. And then once that's lovely and tender, we pick the whole thing down. We then set that to achieve that. And what you get is this lovely set, almost like a pig's head terrine, which has just got beautiful fat through it, the lovely sharpness coming from the gherkins, the capers, the mustard and the vinegar. The onion, put a lot of work into the onion. We normally cook those on the corner grill, uh, which is a Japanese grill over bichatan. Uh, we then poach the onion off first in a crusade pot, so a very old fashioned way. And then we just finish it on the grill. Um, and here you have, the, like I said, the pressed pig's head terrine. That goes in at 190, so again, when that goes in, the, the outside goes really crisp. It's been in panko breadcrumb. Next to that, you've got that lovely poached then roasted onion. You've got the two versions, the apple, Cox's Pippin, the Bramley, watercress, a little piece of smoked dill that we then use a aged soy, so a 10-year-old soy, a little bit of honey, and then we just brush that over the top. That's our first dish, crispy pig's head, smoked dill, onion and apple. The next dish is a a uh, beautiful piece of duck. So first of all, we make the stock, a duck stock, which is our base. And then we make what we call an old fashioned remiage. So we use the duck stock again, back on the bones. And when it goes back on the bones, we then put it into the pressure cooker. And then we clarify it with caramelized onions. Once the legs are nice and tender, we then start to introduce these Asian influences. So then with the breast, which you can see Chris has got on there, we've poached them and then we finish them over the bichatan, so we get this really lovely barbecue flavor. Basically, we've got the breasts on, but you see that, that's finger of duck, that's brined for eight hours. Then in the middle, I think like, you'll see the cuisson, no gray around the outside, the cuisson of that duck is incredible. The brining, we don't need any finishing salt on there because the brine's done its job, you've got that natural seasoning going right the way through the duck. Then we've got the crispy chicken skin, we've used the duck skin to comfy the legs underneath. Now we've got, we're adding our two fats different. So we've got first fat is our chicken skin. And now we're just gonna add some of this lovely smoked duck, which is giving us fat. So we just put those fat side up. Then a little bit of fennel pollen, just as a seasoning over the top. Gives that, picks up what Nick was saying there as well, just picks up on his wine nicely. Anise duck, you know, fennel duck, absolutely delicious. Aged soy duck. Pick your own salad and Peking tea. Uh, I don't think anything to support Staff Canteen. Uh, I'm a big fan of it. Uh, I think it's, uh, well, certainly 10 years ago. I think it's your 10th anniversary, uh, well ahead of its time. Uh, I know all my boys are big fans, love watching all the videos.